Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and we are continuing on with an AP Physics questions. So by now we've completed all of the AP Physics 1 um, free response questions there are. So we have to start relying on older questions from the AP Physics B exam. Um, they'll be a little bit different and the topics were a little bit different on the AP Physics B exam and we're not going to go year by year. We're going to do them by topic by topic instead because there were a lot of things on the Physics B exam that no longer exist for the Physics 1 and there are a few things in Physics 1 that are different from what was the Physics B, just a little bit of a revamp. So um, this is a kinematics uh, question that we're going to be working on here. Um, so let's take a look. Um, a model rocket is launched vertically with an engine that is ignited at time, ignited at time t equals zero, shown above. The engine provides upward acceleration of 30 meters per second squared for two seconds. Upon reaching its maximum height, the rocket deploys a parachute and descends vertically to the ground. Determine the speed of the rocket after two seconds of firing the engine. Okay, so... Um, um, let's see the engine. Um, uh, this is after. Okay, so I'm accelerating up here at 30 meters per second squared. Um, so its velocity starts at zero. So the, the the kinematic equation I want is this. The final velocity is v naught plus acceleration times time, because it's under constant acceleration. This number here for two seconds. It starts off at zero because the rocket isn't moving. So it's zero meters per second plus 30 meters per second squared times two seconds. That's 60 meters per second. What is the maximum height the rocket will reach? Okay, so let's see. Um, it's really split into a couple of parts. Um, the rocket launches, right? A little bit here for um, two seconds and it gains a certain height here then the engine shut off and then it kind of coasts up to another height so it's really two problems first it's what this initial height is this initial height is pretty easy under this constant acceleration its change in position is going to be v naught t plus one half a t squared and I pick this equation because I know the time, I know the initial velocity, I know acceleration. His initial velocity is zero. Again, for between this time window, this launching, he starts off on the ground, no velocity. So it's just one half, 30 meters per second squared. And it this lasts for two seconds. So that's um, 15 times four, that's 60 meters, okay? So 60 meters is how far this here is. That's just firing the engine. Then the engine shuts off. So now I'm subject to a different acceleration, just gravity. Um, so now what we're going to do is um, the vertical distance is going to be the remaining. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, the maximum height, the rocket. Oh, yeah. So uh, now we're just subject to gravity here. So his height goes um, and he declined the thing is we don't know how t how long it takes for him to go from here to here okay so the other equation that involves position is this one vf squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta x and it's really important you kind of know these equations off the top of your head so here without knowing time because i don't really know how long it takes to get to the maximum height um, so i use this equation Vf squared, well, when he reaches the maximum height, his final velocity is zero, okay? His initial velocity is the velocity here because I'm, I'm, I'm doing this from here to here, time-wise, from here to here. So his initial velocity is the velocity at this moment, which we solved in part A, which was 60 meters per second. And then plus two times, now he's subject to acceleration um, just gravity, that's minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Because in this orientation, I said up was positive. Uh, this is up is positive, down is negative. Times delta x. Um, so then I can rearrange this to say delta x is um, 60 meters per second 
squared. And instead of 9.8, I'm just going to do 2 times 10. So I don't have to use my calculator. This is 3,600, 1,800, 180. 180 meters. If I use 9.8 meters per second squared, like it'll be a little more accurate. But 180 meters. Okay, so go 60 meters here, 180 meters here. So the total would be um, 240 meters. Mm -hmm. And now at what time after t equals zero will the maximum height be reached? Okay, so the maximum height, uh, we, we already achieved it. We just need to know how long it takes to get there. So it's two seconds till we shut down the engine and then however much time until we reach the maximum height. Here we can use uh, a couple equations. What I, what I do know is the final velocity and the initial velocity and the acceleration, so I'm thinking I use this equation. This is probably the most direct one, the same equation we use in part A. It's just now I know the final velocity would be zero. The initial velocity is the initial velocity here, and that's 60 meters per second plus minus 10 meters per second squared times t. So t would be 60 meters per second over um, 10 meters per second squared. That would be six seconds. Okay, that's not my answer though, um, because that's six seconds after from here to here. This duration would be six seconds. Since this was from zero to two, the total time was eight seconds. Now I don't have an answer key to some of these problems so we'll just kind of um, but I'm pretty sure I did did all those calculations this is a pretty straightforward question so um, hope that made sense and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching the video guys I just want to let you know that I offer free homework help on twitch or discord so uh, just stop on by if you have any homework questions or you just want to learn about different parts of math and physics and hang out hope to see you there